you're planning a trip to Rome, the most important decision you're gonna make is where to stay. And this video is not necessarily gonna show you where to stay, it's gonna show you a couple of popular places I think you should avoid staying at. And uh, I've got other videos that kind of narrow down or give you some suggestions of where to stay. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a couple of locations in Rome that I think you should avoid staying at. Um, it's important to pick a great location where you're gonna stay. To me, a great location is a place that I look forward to waking up in the morning, a place that I look forward to going home to at night, a place that's well connected, that I can get around. I'm not reliant solely on buses or trains or metro. Um, I can walk to several places. And that's a place that is super desirable to me. And a place where I can, you know, feel like part of the culture of Rome and not just a tourist. And then also, you know, have those nice, lot of dining options nearby and whatnot. Because when you go to Rome, you want to not just see sights, you want to experience the culture, you want to enjoy the food, and um, location is very important to where you, you know, where you choose to go. So having said that, I'm going to share with you a couple of locations I think you should avoid, even though they're fairly popular. So here's a map of Rome. You can look at this here. Um, this is kind of the central area of Rome. For example, over here in this corner right here, that is the, um, the train station right here. Okay, and just down from the train station, you've got the Colosseum, which is down here in this angle. And then this area neighbor neighborhood here is called the Monty neighborhood. Um, Victor Emmanuel Monument is right here. Okay, you can kind of see that. And then the Compadilio is just right here behind Victor Emmanuel Monument. That's a pretty important site. Then you've got the uh, Torre Argentina, which is right here. This is where Julius Caesar was murdered. Then over here you have Piazza Navona. You might recognize this building right here. This is the Pantheon right there, the Pantheon. And then just on the other side of the river, over here, this is Trastevere. This is the Trastevere neighborhood down in here. And way over here, sorry it's not all that far, but over to this side, this is Vatican City. This is the Vatican right here, okay? That kind of gives you a little bit of perspective of where we're at in Rome. This is, I mean, Rome is a huge city. It's got, you know, three, four million people living here, and there's lots of neighborhoods to choose from, but most people are gonna come and stay in what they, you consider the center of Rome. But because Rome is such a big city, just staying in the center is really not good enough. Um, it's just that it's so big. I mean, if you're standing on one edge to the other, it's an hour across the center of Rome of a walk. Um, so, first area that I would recommend that you do not stay is, you might have guessed this one, but um, a lot of people still say to stay, say to stay there. And that is this area is called Esquilino or the Termini train station area. That's where these straight blocks are right here. This whole area here behind the station, the side of the station, to the front of the station, even over here in the university side, all this area out here, it's a little too seedy for me. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff to see in there. While there are a couple of important sites, there's the Santa Maria Majority Church, which is right here which is probably the most important church in Rome outside of the Vatican. And, but you can take a day trip and go over and see this. You know, you, know, you don't have to live in the area to see that. Um, outside of that, this is an area that is chaotic. It's just not very appealing. And going home there is not gonna be a real thrill or waking up there, you're gonna just wanna get out of the area. Now, having said that, there, isn't, there is an exception to this. If I was coming to Rome, let's say I was in Florence and I'm heading out on a flight in the morning from Rome and I want to stay near Rome because I want to go check out Rome one last time. Maybe staying in here for one night would make a lot of sense. You know, maybe you're just coming in just before you leave in the morning and you want to be close by. Um, you can certainly do that and that would make sense in that scenario. But if you're going to stay in Rome for two, three, four days or more, I really suggest you get away from the, the uh, Termini area. You don't have to get all that far away for it to imp improve drastically. For example, you can just head up over into this area, which is the Monti neighborhood, and it improves quite a bit. It's a little bit more expensive, and so if it's not in your budget to stay over here and you want to stay somewhere uh, a little less expensive, I do have an option for you. This is not a video on that. I'm going to be doing a more extensive video about this, but you can go over to the Testaccio area, which is actually a neighborhood right down here. It's connected by Metro. Um, it's this area right here. 
What's nice about Testaccio is there's lots of nice dining options. It has a real nice piazza here, a little park area. It's a family neighborhood. Um, you don't feel like a tourist in this neighborhood. It, it gives you a real nice, what it really feel likes to be, you know, to be in Italy and, and you don't feel, you know, it's not very impacted by tourism at this point. And, you know, it's not super well connected. You're gonna to need to take the Metro or buses or you're gonna to have to walk some from here. So, but it's an option and it is uh, quite a bit less expensive to stay over here than it is in some of the area there is while you still maintain some of the main things. It's a nice area to come back to. Um, lots of good dining options right there. And the Metro is not too far. The Metro, you can hop on a Metro just right over here at the Pyramid Station. And it may be, you know, maybe a 10 or 15 minute walk depending on where you're staying at over here. That's just an option for that. So the first place I'd avoid is the uh, right here by the uh, station. Now the second place I'm going to suggest you do not stay. This may be a little more controversial. It is a good area. It's safe area. Um, and it's not a bad place to come home to at night. Don't get me wrong. This doesn't really meet that criteria. But what I reason I don't want to stay here is I feel it's not very well connected and it's not very walkable. So that is the area out by the Vatican. So the Vatican is right here. And this area out here is called Prati area, the neighborhood. And there's a couple of metro stops in here that you can connect the city with. But being out here, you're gonna be reliant on the metro to really connect yourself. There's not a whole lot out here other than the Vatican. There's restaurants and stuff, but it's just not the sites. I mean, you're gonna to have to come across the river here to see most of the sites. It's just not that well connected. Uh, there was a time I stayed out here for, I think, four nights, and it was during the G20 summit, and I didn't realize that, and they shut down the entire city, including as far as public transportation. There was no metro, there was no bus, and we had to walk everywhere, and we walked like 30,000 plus steps those days that this was shut down. So it made it inconvenient, and the G20 summit doesn't happen all the time, so it's not something you really have to worry about, but they do, Romans have been known to have strikes on the metro. They've been known to have construction. So it's not foolproof that the metro is going to be running all the time. Sometimes I'd say 95% of the time it's no problem, but you're going to be there 5% of the time, you're going to have problems on the metro. And I just want, don't want to be connected or stranded on this side of the town uh, without public transportation. And even if it was running, I still think it's just, it's just not walkable enough to some of the sites. Now, staying in some of these other areas, well, you're not going to walk to everything. You're going to have to take buses and, 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 and public transportation to get to certain sites, but many sites are within walking distance, and that's kind of what I like. Now, in another video, I'm going to be going over this area here called, this is kind of the hub of what I think is the ideal location in all of Rome. It's the uh, Campo dei Fiori area, Torre Argentina, and I'll be doing a video about that shortly that kind of breaks it down and shows you all the real benefits of being in that area. Um, again, if you're coming to Rome, this is one advice I'd give to you, regardless of where you're staying, especially if you're coming in May, June, July, book your hotel or your Airbnb early. You're gonna have a better selection and you're gonna get a better price. Um, the longer you wait, the more it gets, the more the prices go up. I've been in Rome in May and uh, I've seen where those that come in without reservations are charged like $500 for something very simple per night. And uh, it's not cheap in May, don't get me wrong, but you can certainly find a doable, you know, if you book in advance something between 100 to 175 should do just fine for a little one bedroom Airbnb or even a hotel for that price. Um, again, it jumps up if you wait, so that'd be some advice I'd give you. Now, Last thing I'd say is, if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about Rome, trying to make your experience in Rome the best it can be, so consider subscribing. Um, also, if you like this video, give me two thumbs up, one thumb up, whatever, and uh, again, thanks for watching.